All right. We have for you guys table number one. It's going to be Arlong versus Gecko Moria. Uh, so obviously, uh, may maybe a, a round one kind of matchup, but I'm I'm kind of interested to see how it how it goes. I feel like you're yelling at me. Uh, I think uh, <laughs> Arlong's sick, man. Do you want me to yell at you? No. no I think <laughs> I think Arlong's sick. I actually, you know, I have a further thing about you know meta decks and stuff like that in every game, but you know nowadays. I can appreciate a lot of the design for, for some of them. Gecko Mori is interesting because obviously a drop gecko is a, I wouldn't say a meta warping card, but it is a, a, a defining card yes. where it's a, it's, it's just there, you know about it. And there's a lot of different ways to, to, you know, take advantage of such a strong card, but it's not like end all be all. It's not like eight drop uh kid when it first came out. That's like, I, I feel like there's, there's, different levels to it at least in my opinion and uh i definitely appreciate gecko maria as a leader because it's not too abrasive because it is archetypal when it, when it really comes down to it yeah compared, not like compared to a lot of other decks yeah it more specific mm -hmm. stuff's like yeah in archetype yeah but uh like you still play barcelona you know you still play like good cards right but um, like comparative to what we've been through with Sakazuki and still going through now, um, where it's uh, it's not as like generic and it's nice to see. I, I I really do appreciate the deck and I like I like uh, Gecko overall. Yeah, and if you guys uh, don't remember our boy Arlong, uh, so he is uh, a, the original yellow and green leader. We do have Yamato, which is uh, traditionally I think the more popular of the two right now. But uh, you. Since since release of OPO3, we've had a lot more cards with Trigger come out, uh, a lot more targets for Arlong, and uh, he he can be pretty aggressive in the right spot. Uh, he's cool. <laughs> like I said, he's super. Like every set, it seems like is like yeah, maybe I should visit Arlong. It's one of those decks, like one of five decks that you can always say and be like, hey, I want to revisit this. And that's like the beauty of One Piece, I think, that like at least every set isn't too ridiculous and it gives some support for almost a, a lot of the decks a good handful of decks this specific deck arlong did get kind of some support i think the four drop uh what's her face is uh, pretty good it, it doesn't actually help you with the leader effect but it is a good like uh yellow support at the very least yes. and i forget her, i forget her name what is her name it's uh which one pico nojo yeah, yeah, I think that's what it is. Yeah, Let me she, make sure. She's uh, pretty obnoxious. It is a very good card. Yeah, because like you're pretty incentivized to not really care about your life sometimes as Arlong, because you're going pretty aggressive. And if anything, um, she kind of benefits from that too. Um, I'm yeah, pulling I, up I think, your yeah, website. Oh, there she is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, so we have uh, Pass from Morion 2, so normally it's just like a copy of the, uh, what? Both both players want to go first, because they're both like three Dawn plays uh, for their first attack, but Arlong's going to yeah. go 7k at lead, and then we're going to play a Charlotte Cracker out of our hand, so. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good, so especially as a four life leader versus a five life leader, Cracker can like immediately get the uh, advantage if, if Moria attacks into Arlong once again. Mm -hmm. uh, and if we get out of this too, oh, we are 2k and 1k. So that Charlotte Cracker is just going to be a free 7k double next turn. Yeah, I don't if really agree survives. with this. I, I probably would have just took this one. <laughs> yeah. And if you have like a four drop, you can easily four drop and pass if you want to like kind of set up and maybe not give them the double attack. They're going to be, they're still going to be incentivized attack because they want to use your leader effect. So, you know, you, you can kind of balance the, the Cracker effect out. By keeping your hand and then just making sure you go to four. Um, but that's all right, I guess. We'll see what happens. Yeah, so it looks like we're going to have our own 7k attack with Gecko Moria. We're going to uh, then pay the two from the effect of Gecko Moria. We can discard one card from our hand and we send two cards from our, the top of our deck into our trash. So we're going to get rid of a Rob Lucci. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, yeah, mill two, so a Sabo and a brand new. And then we get to play a four cost or lower Thriller Bark Pirates from our, from our trash. Yeah, two pretty similar um, 
decks doing similar things, you know, not so much archetypal for Arlong, because you just play trigger trigger cards, right? Yeah. But Gekamaru is pretty cool, because you can play something like this, where um, Proda, if you have five or more cards in hand, you get to uh, discard one, or have them discard one, really. Yeah, yeah. If they have, if your opponent is five or more, you get one of the two, and so... Early mm -hmm. game, it's it's pretty easy. We're gonna get rid of a Charlotte Brule, which I don't think is too wild of a card to get rid of. And uh, yeah, we're gonna hit our our life. Is there gonna be a trigger in there? Very likely. Well, Arlong plays a lot of them, so if he chooses, and then, okay, oh, it doesn't no. look like there is. Yeah, if if there was one, they decide not to use it, and uh, it's gonna be a pass after that. Mm -hmm. It's interesting with that Perona because uh, it does have a two K. It's one of those things of. Do I want to play my 2K or do you want to keep it in hand? Um, and uh, again, another cool balancing effect of the game. But, yeah, but there have been so many good 2Ks that you don't like. Normally, like people kind of cap out at 10 traditionally, but now you could run like 14, 16, you know, accidentally because there's just so many good 2Ks, especially in, in this set. Yeah, I mean, as the sets go on, we're gonna we're gonna run into that issue. Well, it's not really an issue. It's kind of a good thing actually, um, where. We just have more and more 2Ks and more and more playable ones, so it's pretty cool. Yeah, and uh, just asking for cards and trash, just because uh, this is a little impactful. We're gonna go 8K double with our Gecko or with our uh, Charlotte Cracker, since uh, it is five life to three right now. So mm -hmm. uh, no trigger off that one, no trigger off that one. Moria not running doesn't... Any cards of trigger, right? Yeah, it doesn't really have that many triggers. I mean, sometimes. Uh, I guess pre-ban, you can have uh, uh, Volcanic, or not Volcanic, uh, the one cost <coughs> event card, but I mean, like, if anything, you know, there's not very many of them, and it looks like we're we're swinging as Arlong and going into the card that I just talked about, Miss Nojiku, just had it up, or Kik, Kik, uh, what am I saying? Kiko Nojo. Kik, Kiko Nojo. So uh, being able to play that off your leader is fantastic. And then also, uh, yeah, your opponent's at three life now. So you do get to, uh, if they try to get rid of this, uh, you gain a life. Yeah, which is nice. Uh, you know, it's black and it is Gecko Moria. There are a lot of ways to reduce the cost and and to uh, uh, remove a four cost. It's not very hard at all. Mm -hmm. And um, hey, I'm cool with that. I'm at three. I'm going to be at three for a minute or less. And if not, I'm going to have this nice little 6k to swing at you. But uh, it's also nice for that card to have a Line of Wano, because obviously it's Arlong, so you can play uh, Momo if you really wanted to, and uh, just kind of have that synergy with other Wano cards. But it uh, looks like we're just trying to figure out what's going on, or uh, what to do as Gecko. I don't know if they're they're also waiting for something. But I think they're they're just contemplating what to do. Yeah, so oh, using the soap sheep, interesting. Yeah, <clears throat> that is a very interesting card. Let me make sure I don't get the get it wrong. We'll beat you. We'll beat you. Uh, it just gives two things minus two cost. Oh dope. Okay, never mind. <laughs> and it is a uh, CP nine type instead of uh, navy type two. Mm, gotcha. It's uh, more of a uh, Rob Lucci card, if anything. Yeah, yeah, it pairs really nice with Rob Lucci, because with that, you now get a, might rid of a 3 and a 4 cost. Yep, exactly. Pretty cool. When did this card came out? Is this a Sardar card? Uh, this came out on OPO3, so... Oh, that's, uh, what, that's what I'm thinking. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense with all the CP, CP cards that came out. Um, hopefully that, that archetype doesn't get forgotten. There's some cards that came out in OPL 7, I think, but I don't, I'm not sure about OPL 6. I don't yeah. think there's a, any CP cards in OPL 6. For yeah, CP. OPL 7 gets a new Rob Lucci leader, which is... Yeah, 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 that's why. Looking pretty sick. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, a little a little far off for us, unfortunately, unless uh, we, we get it a little earlier, but... Um, yeah, it, it does look pretty cool. I think... Uh, in general, I think Gekko Moria is plenty. It looks like we're playing out <clears throat> Absalom. <laughs> you got it. Uh, yeah, it's it's there, right? Yes. Yeah, you got he, it. <laughs> he gets returned a couple cards from the trash to the bottom of the deck in any order. Uh, and we did get to pop our four costs that recovered us one life. 
Uh, we're we're also at a uh, four life to three. So if, if we ended up having less life, Cracker does get the effect on both turns to get the plus one K. Mm -hmm. But uh, he is just a five K now. Yeah, I mean that's probably part of the plan for our Gecko Mario player. It's like, hey, I I, I figured that would happen. I guess this was a, a little bit of a contemplation to see if we want to save our Cracker, but he kind of did his job by taking the two life and we're moving on. This is a six K swing, I believe. I think you just take it, right? Uh, I would at four life probably, but we're actually using a beige to get out of it, which is a little interesting. Yeah, I feel like it, that's like either a free draw because you got it from the four drop, uh, or a free trigger, which you just lost your your field, so you may as well just get another card. Yeah. That's okay. And we're, I think we're at seven dawn right now, so I think a lot of Arlong mm -hmm. players do play seven drop Lin Lin, which is quite the menace. In a lot of ways but mm -hmm. um it does kind of it's more like a value card and you need to be really aggressive against gecko because otherwise they can play their eight drop and just really set up yeah i mean it's cool because uh you know gecko mario has a, a number of ways to reduce costs and uh get rid of bigger things like that which is good um but uh, they do have to commit just a little bit to get there yeah uh, we do and probably asking their opponent what what four drops do you have in hand and what one drops and two drops. So they have mm. Rob Lucci, uh, Absalom, and a Borsalino, and they also have Suru. So Suru, uh, Rob Lucci, in combination with Gecko Moria, gets rid of a four cost, which uh, is also coincidentally what Arlong plays. So yeah, that's yeah, just so rough. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean that's the power of uh, the A drop in, in general too. But this is why also. I'd imagine that Gecko Moria doesn't mind going second because you can play the 8-drop on curve and start filling up your board. And back-to-back -back ones are pretty good, too. Yeah, so we're going to swing a big 9k at lead. Uh, we're going to play a Sanji blocker from our hand for free, and then we're passing with two open? Interesting. Um, You know, Pub Gibson is pretty cool. Doesn't really do anything on the field, really, but... Um, you know, it, it's it's fine if you do play some event cards. Or there are a number of them in in yellow too, right? Uh, still have that support from the Star decks and previous sets, so uh, nothing unheard of. But uh, we're gonna see what our Gekka Mario player wants to do. Uh, you can definitely do some damage with the cards that you have on field, uh, along with putting out a couple threats or even a Borsalino here and there. And we are already separating everything. Uh, we have the Borsalino, and as well as the brand new. Those are targets for the 8-drop, and probably the wham-bam-thank-you-ma'am kind of combo. So I'm seeing if they... Yeah, okay, so they're... Okay, they're countering out. We're doing another 5k. I don't know why they're being so defensive on their life. I think they can afford to be a little bit more... Aggressive with taking it since you get so much value. Mm hmm. Not only value, but also, like, maybe the thought is that, hey, I know eight drops coming, and I probably don't really have a hand or resources to, to defend against it, so maybe I should defend now for the easy ones and, and just take the hard ones later. Yeah. But I don't know. We know that the eight drops coming. Swung with everything, and now we're tapping eight. And uh, there it is with the alt art, too. That's, that is, I think, the most expensive all art in the set. Really? I th at least a uh, super rare, outside of like, uh, like, mm. like non like leader one or like manga, but just like regular all art. Yeah, I think that more is very good. And oh, we decide mm. to not get rid of the Sanji. That's really interesting. Um, it's fine. You know, we saw them. You know, separate everything. And honestly, the Sanji is not that menacing, right? There's, there's a lot of, like I said, a lot of different ways that we can get rid of it. A lot of different ways we can get rid of four costs in general. And being able to get a, a Borsalino, the draw, uh, a little bit of a mill there, and uh, having one, two, three, four, five bodies on board, our maximum, is uh, a good trade off, I think. Hey, can we get a price check on that, chat? <laughs> I think he's like 80 smacks, somewhere around there. Interesting. Price check? Chat. Now we're going back to Arlong. Um, 
The thing is about this is that, like, unfortunately, at least how I see it is that Arlong is a little aggressive, right? Like, every single turn, you want to put, like, one or two bodies every single time that you can. And the leader usually allows you to do that. And your life also allows you to do that. Um, but uh, we really haven't been that aggressive, honestly. We've been playing a pretty ABC combo or ABC sort of One Piece game. It looks like Onami and Reiju are a little bit more, which I, I'm gonna I'm gonna say has been a more recent develop. I when Oh yeah. Yeah. They're really close though. Mm-hmm. Waifu tax. That that is true. I might buy some. <laughs> I uh, I did uh, I will say I did pull two Onamis and they are gone. But uh I did not sell them at, at I guess all art gecko prices. So I think I think Nami's gone up a little bit. Onami has. Gotcha. <clears throat> Gecko price is around 190. Okay. What, what are the Raiju and uh, Onami prices? I think, chat? I think they're I think they're right around 100. And then I think Moria's dropped 15, 20 dollars since then. Interesting. I think they're going to go back up. Yeah. But I will are say, you, like the Gecko yeah. Moria leader and the eight drop alt art are almost the same price, which is a little Pretty interesting i think the sr should definitely be lower <laughs> it should be yes but not it shouldn't be that close right no it should not no. you could get two hody jones all art leaders for that gecko moria don't do hody jones like that <laughs> you can get three utas <laughs> don't, don't do Uta, don't do a little like Uta like that that's well, shame. Is that 120 oh man i gave a friend a good deal <laughs> <laughs> yikes i want to dm real quick hey man <laughs> yeah the market changes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, card market is for EU, correct? Yeah. They get a sweet. Uh, they've been oh, they've been super good to me, and I hope you guys, if you are in EU, check them out. They have a really really good resource system, and uh, I, I highly recommend it. Hmm. Totally. Is this a Yamato? Oh, it, it is. is a Yamato. Ah. Oh, Why were okay. we being so defensive on our cards if we were? Keep our life high so we can pop a four cost for more. I guess. I, guess. So. I think that's what the idea was. I don't know. Yeah, I think you maybe here's here's head headcan theory that we don't really know just yet until we find out. Is that maybe he has multiple Yamatos in hand? Yeah. Maybe, so maybe he probably this is an L list. Uh, you know, hiding as an Arlong list. Honestly, not a bad idea. <laughs> just get out of the way, you know. You're just one more card away from being a better deck which okay <laughs> i will say like you have uh more cards in hand more cards in life and uh because moria okay actually moria has more they just fan out their hand uh -huh. yep i thought they had like, i was three. like i thought you were talking about gecko i was like no. <laughs> I was like that dude has like six or seven cards in hand <laughs> sorry I'm, gecko can go like down to two cards really easy but since you since you play cards from the trash you get so much recursion. oh they're they're putting out their forecast oh no yeah tough one it's happening tough one yeah, I think there's a couple things you can do here. Uh, if you're adamant about removing the Yamato, it's going to take a little bit of Dawn to do that. Uh, if you're adamant about doing some damage, I think you can do that pretty easily. But for now, we're doing the same thing, right? We're doing the same. Yeah, soap nope. sheep. Yeah, it can make them both cost two less. So, uh, what? Soap sheep and Ice Age will get rid of Yamato. Uh, yeah. And if you have Gecko Moria to play Rob Lucci and like a Suru, you clear board. I think if that's you what's also happening. Have Ice Age, yeah. I actually think that's what's happening. So I think he's going um, Soap into Ice Age, just like you're saying. Gecko Moria into uh, Suru and then Rob Lucci, because you get to cha you get to choose the order, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. When they yep, activate, so you, can so. Do, uh, you can do like your cost reduction and then. Popping. Effect, yeah. yeah, I think that's exactly what's happening. And if he isn't doing that, then opening with uh, Soap is probably not the best move. Uh, I mean, you can still, like, worst case, you just attack with Moria, discard a card, play Absalom, you just get an attack, and yeah. So, oh, that's probably what's happening then. Yeah, this is a good backup. So, uh, yeah, pay two for the effect, discard a card, and mill two. We play mm -hmm. Absalom, and then we get rid of the blocker on, on the attack. Yep. This post ban list. This is uh, ban list is an OP07, maybe. So, yeah, uh, it is super pre ban list. Which, scrolling through, there's not like a ton of Sakazuki. I will say, 
There's not a huge you amount. You hear that, guys? You could be bad. <laughs> we could, we could, there... uh, we could make it worse. Yes, there is definitely a possibility. I would say there's a handful. There's a handful of Sakazuki. Not comparative to like previous events and and things that we've commentated for, for sure. All right. So. Uh... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Finishing, yeah. I I hit the same issue too. Where I play I play Absalom off Mori, and then I forget that I'm also attacking for seven k. <laughs> yeah, I just want to play my guy, man. Uh, Onami to get the Borsalino. Oh, okay. Ooh, nice. That's Ooh, a good Ubi. one. Yeah, that's a really good one. However, it's a bit of a bit of a tough one. I guess you do go for the uh, the Gecko because you could go for Borsalino or you can go for the Gecko because like you, it's the trade off of right. Like yeah. you gotta, you gotta know how many attacks that they have left, which are what two. Um, oh, okay. Well, okay, that's a little tough as well. I think you should have went for the Borsalino to be honest. Go for the, let, let them swing with the Gecko, take the take the hit, and then hope it's the trigger, and then try to go for game next turn. Yeah, and what this also means is that um, if you wanted to play like another Yamato to get rid of the Absalom, you'd get there. Um, if you had two, if you had a Yamato in life, yeah, you definitely rest the blocker to force them attack the Mori, and then you get the life back anyways. Yeah, yeah, that's another, that's another thing. That's another thing for sure. Get the Borsalino down. Uh, we play Yamato the following turn, pop the brand new, swing Yamato, see if we can get a, get a life out or the Borsalino. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see what happens because I think it's really dependent on his hand. Um, because I think he's just playing his hand for the last couple turns here. I also, uh, I just noticed, I think the overlay probably, um, blocks it a little bit, but that Kirby at the bottom oh, yeah, for okay. our, our long player. I, as, as someone who's been seeing Kirby, in their dreams at this times. point, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah I, times. I can laser focus. Yeah, that was super funny. Because I was just, I was just focusing on the match and looking at all the cards, and then I looked down and, like, Kirby screaming at me. Yeah, Brian, Brian was in Japan with Yomi and I. Yomi bought pretty much every Kirby she, she looked at. Uh, yes. And uh, there, and I, I hope you know, Brian, the, the big the big plush made it home safely. So it is, it is in the Good. Room. I wasn't going to bring it up, but since you brought it up, I uh, did indeed. You, you are the winner of that, yes. I am amazing at crane games. I am two for two, 100% win rate. I'll, I'll grab it just to show you guys how, how large this Kirby was and how how much of a panic attack I was about, like, getting it home. Yeah, it's pretty big, though. All right. Tapping seven for Big Mom, I'm guessing? Uh, I'm guessing it's Lin Lin, yeah. Oh, no, oh, oh, Odie Jones. Jones. Oh, That's a sick card, actually. That's wow. super sick when they have that's, two blockers out. Yeah, That's very, actually a sick card. And he only has two sick. or three cards at hand. Wow, that's a sick card. Okay. Oh, no, don't read it for him. Oh, no, no you gotta read it. Oh, they're not prepared. <laughs> we gotta read her, no. Take the life. Wow, that's sick. Okay, let's see. Let's see if this pans out though, because you gotta be a little careful. Um, you still have a trigger or like a, a way to play something, right? Uh, we we could do it. Yeah, seven and then. Play. <laughs> oh, but we're doing we're doing five. Yeah, that was the other thing I was gonna say. Because he has a low hand size, uh, I think you do go for the five. Because you you don't want to give up the extra attack. Because if you go for, uh, I think eight eight nine is probably better though. Yeah. How many uh, cards do they have in hand? He has three. I think I think he has three or two. Oh, he has two. Yeah. I think the five K is right. Look at that. That's two K. So now, now you go six, nine nine, right? Or uh, oh no, I guess not. Six eight nine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah, I guess you put the put it the uh, other one there. Yeah, so eight. Unless you have two two Ks, because you had to get lucky on this one. Yeah. All right. Nope. And then now you still have to have two two Ks and a one K. Uh, Did Holly Jones just uh, win oh, this? Oh, we one? do not have it. Yeah, Arlon wow. gets it. Nice. Holly Jones, you did, man. Yeah. Everything but the leader. My gosh. <laughs> man. Yeah. I mean, I'm like there. There are a lot of of like traps in this game you're like oh i have borsalino and sabo out you know i played sabo last turn i'm super safe now i need to worry about it hody jones just destroys that yeah all right we have for you guys 
table six for round two. And it's going to be uh, a pretty unique matchup once again. We have Black Yellow Linlin, -Lin, so the one from OPO3, versus Perona. It's pretty interesting. It really comes interesting, or really becomes interesting when you start seeing the list for Linlin. Yeah. Uh, -Lin. We're not going to spoil anything, but there's a lot of stuff going on as far as uh, <clears throat> engines and choices. And obviously, it's playing Black. So both of yeah. them are probably playing the A-Drop. Yeah, and uh, I mean it's it's interesting because black black yellow Linlin -Lin hasn't been like an amazing leader, uh, but it's the two colors that make it up are probably the most powerful colors in the game right now, right? I think unconditionally black and yellow individually are the the strongest colors, so it's it's weird to see a leader that gets access to both, and uh, they're just not uh, it hasn't ticked. But maybe maybe uh, maybe Jacob has the list for us today. Maybe. I mean, it's been a while since I've seen literally any <laughs> of yeah. the black and yellow uh, Linlins, but, you know, most of the time it just comes down to if someone likes the deck. And, you know, just like how I am with Ace, just like I am with uh, Nami and stuff like that, I feel like you can kind of come back to Charlotte Linlin as a pet deck slash mm -hmm. a deck that you're always trying to make better and always trying to see what support it has. And you know, it's the perfect time. We got some cool yellow cards this set and last. Uh, we got the stuff for um, the A Drop Moria. And yeah, like just overall, it's it's a good time to be a Charlotte Linland player. Yeah, I mean, like the 10 drop, right? Everyone says Katakuri, right? Because uh, everyone thinks, you know, it's leader lock to only him. But we have the Sardek Linland, which is an interesting one. And then uh, we also have the this Linland, too, which uh, uh, can technically play the card. <laughs> uh, yes, I mean I don't know. I don't know. There's like super good ways to get stuff into your drop mm -hmm. or your trash, really. But I mean, we'll see. I think it really just depends on the deck building. Uh, I think the concept of having eight drop uh, come down and then falling into a ten drop big mom is pretty funny. So uh, I'm down for it. Uh, I'm gonna ask. Uh, I'm gonna ask Shane real quick to put their life a little bit more on screen. Real quick, give me one sec. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, life life's a little bit more on screen. It's uh, our overlay cuts it off a little bit, but Dak is also on screen too. Uh, they're just gonna play the baby five and pass. Cool. Very cool. I mean, that's a bit of a Don Quixote staple, I'd say. Uh, one of the cards that were supposed to be for old boy who likes to restand and play green and blue, but never really really got some traction. Um, and uh, it's gonna get some value here, especially going first. You know, it's not really any removal they can do in the first turn. Uh, as a uh, big mom here, and no, uh, no two drop either. So no brand new, nothing like that. So a bit of a bummer. But uh, we're gonna get this top five. Looks like we have a choice or a few choices. And I think that is the Virgo. Yeah, it's Virgo. Like yeah, two K. The can't be KO'd, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Yeah, it's, it's just really uh, coveted because it has both Don Quixote Pirates and Navy. So it's searchable off mm -hmm. brand new and Baby 5, which is nice. Yep. Um, but just uh, looks like we're going to do a 5k attack with Perona there. Yeah. And considering it, uh, I would say, um, I don't know, this, this is a weird matchup. Both, I think both players rather be on the even curve compared to odd curve. Uh, yeah, and we're just going to end up comboing with the Rebecca, which I think is a little bit less uh, good in this matchup since, yeah, Perona just rests it very, very quickly off the leader effect, so. Uh, yeah, I, I also think that they're probably going to do this early on um, because they just want targets for Gecko, maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, so, like, the stuff that isn't super relevant but can be still useful, like the Rebecca, because you can still get stuff out of your trash, right? You can still... So get a blocker and, and then put them on, you know, answering it. Yeah. Uh, which obviously the leader can do anytime. But if you have multiple, then that's cool. Uh, so I mean, there's there's some value, but yeah, definitely, you know, this matchup, um, printed on face, it's not really much you can do. Yeah. And uh, real quick, if you guys don't recall what the black yellow Lin Lin leader does, uh, it is Dawn times two 
with two uh, additional dawn when attacking. Uh, if you have one or less life, you are able to uh, discard a card from your hand and heal one. So uh, being able to heal is pretty good. Uh, it's a little costly because it costs four dawn, which means like you can't do anything really else outside of a six cost for the turn. And it uh, looks like we're just going to play Reject to get rid of the two drop. Uh, attack Lin Lin into the the baby five and uh, just pass from there. Yeah. Yeah, not too bad of a turn. Clear the board. Uh, got rid of the draw. And you gotta and, you gotta play uh, your rejects while you can. You got it's, just, it's on a timer. Gonna, <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say I was like, may as well just play it. Like, <laughs> yeah, do anything about that. Uh, but it looks like we're gonna go ahead and swing. It looks like six. With face, I think it's fine to start taking some life here. No triggers, unfortunately. I mean, though, I'm sure there's plenty. I'm gonna top four, maybe for a I was gonna say Kuzan, but that is the I think the four costs uh, I forget his name, but he has to the uh, the effect to pop something. Yeah, that is uh, Rayuma. It has when uh, on play and on KO, you get a uh, KO arrested four or less. So mm -hmm. it's a 6k. You can, uh, it works really well with Promona as well. Yep. Um, Almost pretty... the perfect, perfect card for it. Yeah. It's cool that it has on play and KO. Mm -hmm. My first read, it was, it was, that's such a cool card. Yeah, and uh, since Gecko Mario 8 drop is not uh, limited to uh, only uh, playing black cards, you can play any cards with a cost of four. Uh, yeah. You can get rid of, uh, you can play Ryuma, but. Uh, yeah, we're, we're going to use that Gadatsu effect to get rid of it immediately, which is good value for a black, yellow, Lin Lin. Yep. Hit them down to three and uh, probably pass from there. Yeah, well-timed uh, Gadatsu for sure. Um, kind of punishing for playing that so early. I I'm sure there's like a lot of other cards that probably could have played there too, right? Uh, yeah, but I it think is... that was a safer one though. Yeah, I was gonna say I was like maybe if you play Kuzan, you, you just kind of lose the value on him. So, uh, or if you play something else on the four drop, maybe Borsalino is probably the best target. So that way that that, that kind of thing doesn't happen. But yeah, you know sometimes you just don't have that hand. Yeah, because uh, yeah, you definitely I think didn't have anything else because you want to try to have your Rayumas in hand for when you can get like some KOs, and it just did not happen unfortunately. Yeah. Yes, indeed. A lot of cards in hand, though. Plenty of options. Five ca or five K swing coming. Wouldn't hate it. Wouldn't hate taking this one for uh, kind of off curve, but you know, if you want to delay the the turns a little bit, you know, there's no other attacks coming. You may as well just you know counter out of this with a okay Borsalino. Oh, we have Borsalino. I, I, was, <laughs> yeah, I, was, I don't know why that looks so aggressive. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Was this what you wanted to play last turn? <laughs> yeah. Nice try, guy. We do have a Sabo. That's pretty good. Yeah, um, I mean, Lin has been KOing stuff the last two turns, so uh, Sabo's at least not going to get hit by that. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think there's anything they can do about that. Even, even uh, there's not really many things outside of Maru that they can play to get rid of, like, a Borsalino either, so. Yeah, we. I mean, we could do an 8-drop Katakuri. I guess. Yeah, not that's probably we, the best. We felt like it, but eh. Yeah, it's not. It's like whatever. We are going to seven this next turn. I don't know the list completely, but I didn't see a seven drop uh, Lin Lin, but I would not be surprised if we do see one here. Yeah, seven drop Lin Lin just feels bad because, again, if you want to use your leader effect, it costs four, and so you're just one off from being able to play the, the seven lift drop in the same turn. For sure. Yeah, yeah honestly. Honestly, if this de if if Lin Lin had like a really good turn like six on play, I think that would save the deck from from being uh, just mediocre like it is right now. Yeah, totally. All right, we're gonna start with a five k. Cool. Yeah the the issue with this matchup too is that uh, ten drop Dofi is so present for Perona. And our, our leader has a when attacking skill, so being able to like turn that off for a turn is is pretty nasty. Yeah, there's a lot of when attacking skills um, in this set, last set, so it's pretty pretty interesting. 
Um, but also pretty nice to see. Uh, maybe not this. <laughs> Ooh, uh, Moria, even even Moria simply playing a Borsalino is devastating. That seems so strong. <laughs> yeah. I'm miscounting the Dawn here. I guess they are at 8. Since, yeah. Uh, our, other, our other player is at 9, I think. Yeah, Perona is definitely on the odd curve. So, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, Borsalino and Moria is fantastic. We have Gadatsu still on board, which is kind of tricky to remove since, or at least even pressure because it's a 6K. Mm -hmm. And and I mean, if we have 10 drop next turn, I think I think Big Mom just wins based on tempo alone. I would say so. I would say so because, like, at a certain point, your hand size doesn't really mean much, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> like you, you're gonna have to face this gecko. You're gonna have to face the big mom. You're gonna have to face being up zero life, without any value getting out of it too. So, um, plus, even if you get them to zero life, they can still uh, uh, get their life back and, and start doing some silly things. Let's see, so we we went six into life. Um, I think we're gonna use the effect to reduce the uh, Gadatsu by one, and then sure. we, if we have our own Moria, we can use the Ryuma to get rid of it. I think that's what's happening. Yes. Not, not only I, I, I was thinking that he's just gonna rest the uh, rest the Borsalino, but I think this is a better play. Yeah. So uh, we're gonna use Gecko Mori. We're gonna get the Rosanante, which we're gonna keep an active, uh, even though we can use its protection skill uh, if it's rested, based on the wording. Yeah. So it's a it's a pretty good card to get in, in oh, either state. Because we want to swing, and I think that's not like the best thing because like one. Our Lin Lin player can be playing Yamato, which I don't think you do, because uh, you already have so many cards that don't have any counter power. But uh, you can also use their 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 life effects or their leader effect too. I think right. So <clears throat> I think not swinging here probably is best. A little a little too aggressive, even though I'm also a fan of swinging with blockers here. Yeah, it's it's a little aggressive. I mean, we can block with Borso, get a one K. So. Uh, and only only six cards in Perona's hand. Yeah. Plus, like, they can't exactly interact with it outside of a drop category, I think, right? Because they can't rest it with Maru. They can't really do too much. I mean, maybe they could reduce costs and get rid of it, but that's pretty much it. Yeah, but if you want to play 10 <laughs> drop next turn, I mean, both battle cards, or yeah, uh, both character cards that are on there are 6k, so only Gecko can pressure them. And it's... A little tough, but I don't know. I've I've never been some seen someone so stressed out by a six K attack. They're uh, they're definitely <laughs> yeah. thinking about it. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, they are. Hmm. Uh, I think you just I think you can counter out of this one and and not really stress too much about it. If you only have like if you don't want to spend the two K, I mean this is their last attack, right? So. Mm -hmm. May as well just block with Borsalino and then give him a, a 1k. Datsu right. pretty much is dead and, you know, it's like whatever. All right. Uh, what? Oh, because he wants to play another a, a drop. I I guess so, yeah. Though, but you could have just blocked and then yeah, did that. Yeah. And, like, you're hoping for a trigger maybe, but I don't think that makes sense. Because if you want to go to zero... Uh, you don't have enough Dawn to do Gecko and Leader Effect, so... Yeah, that was a little work. weird. Unless they have Yamato? Yeah, unless just... they have Yamato. And you can pop the Rosanante, I guess. Um, yeah, I don't think you have to discard the Borso for that effect, right? I don't think so either. Um, maybe it's just, like, planning for later? I don't know. Unless you need to, like... Uh... Yeah, I don't know. That, that was a little bizarre. Yeah, it's all right. We'll see if we, if it pans out. Maybe it's like the seven thousand IQ play that we don't know of. Uh, unless unless they want to do like two hundred million volts, Amaru, maybe. Ah, uh, yeah, I mean that's also a play for sure. But you're not winning this turn, right? You're not winning at all. I don't I, think so. Maybe just wanted a card in hand. Maybe it's just as simple as that, you know? Yeah, just block with the Rosie, sure. Alright, yeah. And uh, Borsalino only has protection on your own turn, so if you try to get rid of that Rayuma, you, uh... Yeah. 
I, th I don't know. I would have. I would have just... blocked with Borso and then. Can we also just rest, rest this? Yeah, we super can. Yeah, I. I don't... Oh, okay, I was like, I was like, I... is it three, three or less? Am I crazy? Because I, I literally just played Prota the other day. <laughs> I thought we could do that. Yeah. I mean, we have we have a decent amount of cards. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That was frame one. Like. <laughs> yeah. 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 You go seven here, I think. Uh, I think they're trying to play ten drop. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, that makes more sense. Yeah, don't yeah, be locking down the leader and Borso yeah. Gecko, I think. Man, you could be at two life right now. That'd be such a difference. Yeah, because we didn't really gain any value. We didn't swing leader, didn't play Yamato, didn't didn't do any of those things. So, a bit odd. Uh, maybe a bit of a misplay or miscommunication. I don't know, but. We're discarding three and going down to two cards in hand. It's very interesting. Yeah, and just five, yes. Yeah. So that that for sure means that they're playing uh ten drop Dofi. Yeah, totally. Oh oh oh, we didn't see it. I saw some pixels, didn't see anything else. Yeah, for for better or for worse, they're uh <laughs> <He saw> some... <laughs> The webcam. The webcam quality under, is uh, in, in your favor. <laughs> Did not do them justice. Yeah, still. Oh, is that three? Oh, that's two cards, man. Okay. Yeah. All right. We're going to uh, going to zero life. I don't think it's a good plan if you aren't knowing that he's signaling for the 10 drop because yeah. the 10 drop just says you aren't going to recover that yeah so we can't gain a life next turn <laughs> and uh we get a blocker back but then we get to just rest it next turn i don't know yeah <laughs> prona prona is like one of like the best bullies for for four drop, and stuff. yeah yeah mm -hmm. i mean thankfully for anything right like it doesn't matter if you're four cost five cost six cost there's a lot of ways to Oh, you lost your ability. We left the leader. Oh, yeah. I don't really agree with that. I don't think it'll. I don't think it'll make a difference. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Sorry. Okay. There we go. <laughs> oh. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. <laughs> Got it. Okay. Yeah. That's 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 the correct ruling. Uh, if if two things were gonna get KO'd at the same time. Uh, including Rosinante, Rosinante can save both. It's a weird ruling, but it is the correct ruling. Yeah, I remember that. Kind of silly. Hmm. Huh. I'm, I'm going to assume that they play the 10 drop, but like... Big Bob, yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> At least you're only saving grace, really, right? Yeah, most more times than not, like that, that's just the... Oh, we're... We're swinging. All right. All right. Well, he, I mean, he knows that it's going to get arrested again. Mm -hmm. Surely. But, I mean, even then, I don't know. Yeah, I guess that's fair, right? If you if you know that they're just gonna rest it again, just go for it. Um, this ward is gonna go. Get? What into probably Rayuma? Uh, uh yeah. I get yeah, double two kick inside of it. Okay. Oh, we got a ten drop. Okay. Okay. Three life and there's a 10k, 9k. Yeah, do not think it it matters. No, no, it doesn't. Yeah, and uh, just a, a casual 20k from Dofi. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm sure he got it. No. <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure it's perfectly fine. Always the optimist. Uh huh. I appreciate that's that. me. Uh, oh, they also have the Brook, which can not KO Borsalinos too, which is really funny. Oh, and they had another. They they almost lost though. They had no counter. They. Uh yeah, 
Yeah, they, <laughs> they were dangerously close to just saying, well, I lost. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, they... That was a weird game. Yeah, was, that, this was a weird game. Was that a was a weird, weird game. game. That was a weird game. Uh, uh, but congrats to Shane for taking it. And, uh, and uh, Perona is 2-0, so that's cool. Uh, our, our entire Black Yellow Big Mom uh, population is at 1-1 at right now. but Unfortunate. That'll be okay. Uh, let's see if we have another match, though. Yeah, I'm looking around now. All right, we are uh, we are starting off. We missed the, the first two turns. They played a Gordon. Nothing nothing to change to uh, to miss. But seven uh, K into life. Nothing from the Katakuri's top life. Mm -hmm. and, uh, they're gonna pass right after that. Unless they have like a Sachi and Penguin. But um, yeah, I doubt that. That's pretty much the only thing you would play here. Even then, it's probably fine to wait a turn. Like, uh, like you don't really want to get too out of line with uh, your Dawn. But it looks like I'm wrong, so we're just going to go ahead and just play it, I think. Uh, yep, yeah, Sasha's Sasha Sasha Yep, which is fine. Like, you're basically just going second when you do this. Uh, you have an extra attack, which is fine. Uh, and they kind of just do their thing. I, if it wasn't for Sachi Penguin, I don't think I would do the effect. Unless, maybe, yeah, because they can't even, uh... What, if you play 4 cost Law, you don't have the Dawn to do the Dawn minus 1 effect, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah, just for the extra 5k, you're probably fine, but... Uh, tacked 5 into life with Katakuri, went down to 3 for Red-Purple Law. Uh, plays the Sanji, which... I don't know if I'd even play it. it you do take the resource of the Gordon away, but... Uh, yeah, that, that Sanji's not long they, through this world. They also play three more of them, so I think it's fine. <laughs> yes, and we have a new card from the set, which is just, like, another version of Gordon, so... That's true. Uh, we have so many, so many new cards to, to use with, uh, with Red Purple Law for that. Yeah. <clears throat> it's pretty cool to have, like, the, the hidden support come in. Also... Uh, our own raise you. It's pretty cool. Uh, yeah. Also, a nice little little support uh, intended, maybe. I don't know, but uh, it is nice to have. I don't think it's intended, but Red Purple Law is super okay with it, right? Being able to—I mean, we're almost always going to be behind on Dawn. Uh, mm -hmm. Being able to just draw two cards for free, play a five K body, and we can play it off our leader effect if needed as well. Yeah. And uh, we did end up using the Gordon, so that Sanji's now a 2k. Uh, we're going to use the minus 3 effect, and let's see what we play off of it. I'm actually very surprised that Rage... God, I am looking at the art. Maybe I should pick these up. Uh, that the uh, the the card actually has uh, counter power. Uh, you yes, know, yeah, it sure does, yeah. Cards like this usually don't have counter power. I'm very surprised. Yeah, it's... I mean, it's supposed to be like, you know, quote-unquote in archetype and stuff, but uh, it's it's... Pretty generic, uh, just kind of dependent on the matchup sometimes. But uh, being able to get the draw, we did a rush attack with with Zoro. Um, oh, did we just end up passing turn? I don't really agree with that. I think we should swing as much as possible. Cause, yeah, right. I mean, the only thing we're not even at four, right? We're at three. Yeah, they must have as, been as like, worried about what could come off life or not, but. I don't care about that. I'm swinging, man. <laughs> I'm swinging all day. Yeah. Also, also this uh, this four drop here uh, it might get Gordoned. Or yeah, if we have another Gordon, uh, yeah, we have we have a lot of removal tools with Law for this card too. Or should we say Raise Max? Raise Max is the uh, some of the support, the new card that is. So we're uh, but doing, we're uh, we're doing some fives and we're getting two Ks out of the hand, so that's that's good value for for us as law as well. I think that's what makes this matchup pretty good, right? Like uh, the fact that we know that Katakuri does play so many two Ks, and more often than not, that that is going to be uh, pretty detrimental with these five K swings. Yeah, and so uh, another, uh, we're going to do a seven K here. No, not, I don't want to protect this one. We're I have a pretty decent size hand. 5k out of hand, got Amaru out, that's good. 
and, and then uh, yeah there's our our backup copy of gordon there yep. uh released from the already sets. already getting rid of it yeah it is our raise max which is what a better version of uh, gordon because it has one more uh, tag on it. it has revolution army but it also has film uh it's also 2k one drop so uh that gets the the same kind of effect so and then we play another sachi and penguin which is great lets us gain another uh two dawn back and just uh it's looking pretty good for red purple law right now yeah i mean this is the type of thing that you have to kind of deal with as as red purple law though is that like our hand size is like halfway decent and we're also operating on two dawn pretty much every single turn so yeah. um it is the deadly balance of uh and, and trade-off of of playing this deck mm -hmm. but uh hey seven cost lin lin i think you're probably fine to trash one I, I could be wrong here but i don't know I, I think if you want to keep the temple up it's, it's probably fine to trash one yeah without knowing cards in james's hand i'd be pretty tempted to just take the hit because we have you know a couple of swings coming in next turn the the only issue with with law is that the trade-off is we get a lot of attacks but we don't have dawn to you know boost them up uh, mm -hmm. sufficiently at times so uh looks like just deciding you know what you can take an extra life we're okay with that but i don't know that's that just seems a little counterintuitive at times and just really really tricky to get that one more life when there's just so many good triggers that yellows gets every set now yeah <laughs> you would think there was just like print yellow and be like hey this is these are the decks that you have to play mm -hmm. and you're not getting support for a while um no they have no. given support every single set since it came out and it's not gonna stop in opl7 no uh but it looks like we're going for board all right yeah there he goes um sure yeah Sure, 5k here is probably safe. Uh, another 5k from leader, and I don't imagine that this list, as it as it stands and as it looks like, as we play these cards, I doubt. Eh, we could we could still play the five drop uh, kid, but we're not really like even caring about it. It seems like because we are refusing to go to five on, or more uh, on four dawn. So yeah, uh, yeah, seems, seems unlikely. But for three, it looks like we're playing. Oh, the new the new blocker. That, that name actually is, is one that escapes me, but it's a good name. Shuri, Shuriya. Shuriya. Whatever, dude. I'm not going to try. It's a blocker that, when, a bla when attacking or blocking, uh, the character's base power becomes the same power of your opponent's leader until the end of the next turn. Yeah, so if, and it's so you could, you know, block a 7k Katish Curry swing, 1k out to save it, and then if their Linlin tries to attack into it, it's still 7 to 8, so you can just use a 2k get out of it too yep pretty good pretty good oh we left one dawn open for something oh and there there is a 10 drop yeah man um it's probably not too crazy to see uh, i don't know i it's it's hard to say because like now, as we are at three, and any of those three can be pretty good cards, uh, with, I think, four cards. It depend I don't know what Richard is doing there. I think, yeah, four cards in hand. Um, it's hard to close out the game, right? I think it's going to be really hard to close out the game because you got you to realize that you're not closing it out here. And um, because of that, I, what are your defense options? They're, they're not very many. You have this blocker, sure, but, I mean, that could get Amaru'd if you go a little too hard. Um which doesn't look like that's the case. I don't think we're going to go down to to one here. And uh, yeah, there's not very many options here, unfortunately. Yeah, we've got a new card in yellow to help us get down to one as well with, with Reject, which is so strong. Which that is, is awesome. true. That is true. Reject kind of uh, allows category players, yellow players, whatever you want to call it, to be a little bit more aggressive and, and, and close out the game. Uh, and also is answering this three drop. Oh, so we do play the useless kid. Uh, we're going to go minus three. Uh, which will let us get one Dawn back. That's fine, but okay. Yeah. And then we go seven to our leader, looks like, I think. I mean, 
you know, when we're talking about defensive options, this is uh, about as good as it gets. Reject still kind of answers both of these blockers. Uh, a good, well-placed Thunderbolt does too. Uh, and yeah, I mean, we went down to one. So like all options are on the table now for Katakari. I don't know. You just slam another 10 drop and you win, right? That just that just seems uh, so so easy. Uh, yeah, I think that's doable. Uh, oh no, we got or, uh, uh, that. Mario. That also uh, is pretty impactful. So we're gonna use the yeah. 200 million volts on the blocker. Yeah. Uh, like I said, all options are on the table, and we are taking the one that makes sense to us, which is gonna be, you know. It. Yeah, so this is going to be a, I believe, 10k banish. Uh, yeah, we're just going to block it. Yeah, not too crazy. I mean, that, uh, Omnami is pretty good, man. It's pretty silly. Yeah, because I don't know if they were thinking of, like, what? You could, like, attack with Lin, Lin and then hit Reject, and then it's a 12k. Oh, but we're attacking with the 12k. All right, we're... I guess we're nervous mm -hmm. about losing now. Which... Mm -hmm. I guess we should be a little bit less nervous now, but... Five in hand, they only have, I think... Five or six, six dawn? I think six dawn. But two attacks that are five Ks presented. Hmm. No, they they use the, the kid effect. The kid effect, yeah they did. Yeah. We we watched them do it. Whoops. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, sorry if I look weird. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I think we're uh, trying to you're decide not on out. Camera, so you are you are good right now. Is Elmi there? She was. Oh, I said hi. Oh, she's gone. She's gone. Well, we're trying to figure out what we want to do with our Dawn. We only have a whole whopping six. So, like, best we can do is two sevens, play something, and then go seven. If you have Zoro or something like that. Yeah, you could do like three sevens if you have Zoro. We've seen two already, so it's not super. No, you likely. can only go six with Zoro, I think, if you're going seven with uh, our blocker, right? No, no, because it can. It's when attacking and when blocking, so you can become a five k on attack and then. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're yeah. right. Yeah. Interesting. It's a really unique. Whoa. Uh, on his effect. Yeah, we had it. We had it for another card. I forgot the what was the other card that had, that was like this. Um, there's a. I think there's like a bond clay that you're thinking of. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's like one or other two cards. Yeah, but I think you're, he comes out in the expansion booster. Oh no, there's. Yeah. I think there's another one that's already out. Maybe. Oh, oh, oh! I'm talking about uh, the purple uh, card in Croc. That one. Pretty All sure right. it's out. We uh, end up going. I think this is a lot. 10k. That is quite a lot. That's a lot. We're gonna get rid of the Nami. We have two life. So. Zoro. Oh, okay. Oh, I don't know about that, right? Uh, we have a blocker. We have, I'm guessing, Rad Beam, and, and two life. So. Hmm. I mean, not having Zoro there was. Definitely a difference maker, but I think, you know, the two sevens would have probably got there. Because you got to realize, like, not everything is live in Category's hand. Yeah, and he's they've been pitching 2Ks all game, right? Sure. I think seven with leader to see what happens would probably be good, and then... Yeah, but a lid lid here really hurts, especially if your hand's dead. But, it, I mean, if we're signaling a, uh, a red beam or something, I mean, I guess that's fine. Cause like this falling turn is gonna be pretty good for our law player. Yeah, if we if we have reject as Katakuri though, we just I think win on the spot. I have a, I have a feeling they just don't. I think they are just like burdened with two Ks. 
which does happen is category like sometimes you just like it a lot of yellow decks well i guess it's category a lot, a lot of category decks are like that i think just have a bunch of 2ks and you're just on the wrong end of it right now yeah with less people playing like Shirahoshi that you know helps filter our hand just a little bit yeah it's definitely way more common yeah um Ooh, another seven drop I think you clearly do just give them the life, yeah. right? Which is effectively the same thing as a 10 drop. You just have more, more things to use, more things to do. This is AK Swing. Yeah, at least you, yeah, you can't lose as red, purple law now. Which is good, but I don't know if you win next turn, depending on the, what this trigger is. And I think, oh, okay. I was going to say, it's like, if you can't counter out of this, then you just don't have it. So now there's a possibility for sure to win next turn as law. Yeah, because uh, I I probably would have been tempted to take that because Otama helps us if we hit like a Sanji in life. Who's Otama and what else? Um, Another 2K of sorts. I'm not hmm. sure. Yeah. Alright, yeah, with three, yeah, there's nothing we can do to, to lose here. Yeah, we just take this damage. And then... Go, uh... Go to zero. There. Yep. Okay, well, you gave him two more options to play with. Which is not amazing. But I guess you gotta do what you gotta do. We have five or six cards as Katakuri. We are uh, donning it up as Law. And only about six down to play with yet again. Uh, three seven K swings, I think, is the numbers you gotta do. We said this last time, but <laughs> I don't know. I mean, seven seven minus, and then play Zoro swing, and then swing leader, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, first seven K. All right, two K one K. They always have it. They they tend <laughs> to have it. They always have it. Imagine a 5k swing coming in and winning the game. Uh, blocker does not swing for 12. It uh, only it's it only chooses leader. It yeah. choose a, if it chose a battle card or a character card, would be uh, pretty sick. That'd be that'd be very good. That'd be pretty sick. Right, seven K number two. Yeah, why not? I think you swing with the or the character, right? So yeah, because you at this point, yeah, you're just not. You, you don't win. Yeah, Onami is the the scary. I mean, there's yeah, there's so many triggers here. Yeah, you take it for sure. Um, you, you there? I mean, the amount of. The amount of power that they can get to is right in front of you. Uh, oh, yeah. And... Oh, wow. Zero cost. Yeah, so now you need a Zoro. Yeah, so we gotta do like a some kind of rush. Five. Yeah, you swing five, I think. You swing five, because if they take one and it ends up being a 2k and they only have dead cards in hand, then you have to swing seven. Yeah. And you have to have Zoro. Oh no. This is gonna be another blocker, I think. Yeah, but that's not enough. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. With four attacks presented? Yeah, it's just not enough. I just don't think he has it, unfortunately. Yeah, that's just the power of. Uh, yellow was like the last color to get a zero cost event, uh, but it is also probably one of the colors that need it the most, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I, I think that's also like the seven drop Lin Lin. Uh I, I think you were super okay to take the, the hit yourself there, but because mm -hmm. uh, you're supposed to be the aggressor and giving them extra heal just feels real bad. Totally. I think I think uh trashing was better there. You had the blocker to block anyway, so mm -hmm. you know, that just kinda works out naturally.
right, we are here with our next round. This is round number four. We have Yamato versus Katakuri. Uh, this might be one of the faster matches. Uh, both of these decks can be pretty aggressive if they need to be. Uh, and Yamato having double attack is very strong for, uh, for hitting this, but Katakuri generally does not mind getting the uh, the cards hit out of its life. So we'll, we'll see what this matchup is. I've, I've tried it a little bit myself. Uh, and it really just depends if we're playing like the more uh, defensive build for Yamato. There's just so many w ways for us to build Yamato. Uh, it will be interesting. Also, Luffy TV, hello. Hope you're well. Welcome to the stream. Uh, yeah, we we got some some pretty good uh, matches I think so far. Good good amount of diversity, which is really nice to see. I I think it's easy to go into like the. Uh, like the mindset, oh, you know, Sakazuki's best deck, but it's, it's really uplifting to see just so many uh, kind of unique decks as it is for, for this first week. Well, I appreciate you stopping by, and I, I hope Locals was good for you tonight. All right, so pretty good opening for our Katakuri. Turn one putting into turn two uh, for our Paraspar, but we end up not attacking, which is really interesting. I guess uh, wanting to play a Gadatsu next turn. Uh, we're gonna go 6K with our Yamato, and then for three, we're gonna play out, oh, the new, oh, that's really interesting. Yeah, so we play the Mihawk into playing the uh, Kiko Nojo. So Mihawk being able to use the effect to play a slash character with four from our deck, or from our hand rather, with a cost of four rested. So uh, Gadatsu gets the removal though with it, and we don't get the heal because our opponent has too much life. But an interesting start from the build. Yeah, Mihawk definitely more more seen in the. Uta film decks, but you you can't. I've, I have tried in Yamato. It gets it gets some value sometimes. All right. Well, we have. Uh, all right. This this will surely do some damage. Nine k. Oh no, we are we are getting out of this. Uh, oh, man, we had a nine k double attack banish, but we did use some cards to get out of it. Uh, but now we. Now we have like no cards in hand. What a miss. Uh, nothing too much. Yamato trying to do some damage, but uh, Jose is making it pretty difficult, getting a lot of good defenses. Uh, but you know, still at five. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> honestly, uh, this matchup can kind of go both ways. I think uh, category does pretty much win the late game, right? Excuse me, I think, uh, oh, this is interesting how, how aggressive we're being here too, huh? Yeah, I mean, with, with us having such a life lead and, and board lead, makes sense, but we're using a 2k to get out of a 5k attack. Uh, Just... Yeah, not not super great news for Kriyamato, but oh, we do get the Shura though from, from life hmm. looking top five for a Sky Island card. Yeah. And we do get a 200 million volts, which is nice. Let's see, okay. another 7k swing, though. And then an 8 for the leader, it looks like. Yeah. I'm surprised all these weren't 7s se <coughs> already. <laughs> but I guess it doesn't matter since he took that first one. Yeah, looking at top life, but man. Katakuri is such a lead right now. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I think uh, the early aggression here, uh, multiple swings here, uh, the fact that you know we're getting into the mid game with uh, five life is uh, pretty ridiculous. Yeah, especially since Yamato really wants to, you to be at three or less for for a couple reasons. Yep, takes one swing, and we haven't really got through that. And this one swing probably is going to get a couple triggers. Be pretty annoying. I think, uh, I mean, we did counter out our most of our hand, right? So, uh, yeah, I don't know. 
shouldn't take a lot. Yeah. And if we do this effect, if we attack in with 7k and get to do some damage, then we can start putting Dawn underneath our cards for free. Yeah, which is nice. Oh, 5k on Paro and potentially give them another card. I don't, I don't love this. Or at least not the ordering for it. Yeah, so there's another 1k. Uh, I guess the thought is, um, if I swing now, there's two different chances that these triggers are going to get rid of my, my swings, so maybe that's why. Uh, okay, immediately getting it. Immediately getting another. So not removing the swings here, but getting two more attackers is, uh, not fun. One of them getting back alive, giving, giving back alive, and one of them getting another draw. Oh man. Yeah, it's, that's just kind of how Katakuri can just be devastating and, and get that extra value. Yeah, it's pretty safe to say that he's probably a tier one deck, even in this format. Like, it, it's hard to not say that. I'm like, it's still up there, but like, I don't know. Yeah, I, I think Katakuri has been and, and always will be pretty dang good. Yeah, with all the just just getting like the new wave of triggers, I think Katakuri is finally like in a spot where like, yeah, K Kiko Nojo and Nami, just Onami by themselves just add so much power for yellow. Yep. And Katakuri is probably the best deck to get the, the straight advantage from it. Mm-hmm. But we end up playing the uh, Hiori, uh, so we get to put one card, you know, stack into our life. And uh, uh, we're attacking, I believe this is 8k into probably Godatsu. Yeah. Math checks out here. Uh, 2k, 1k. It's very likely that we have it. Yeah. Oh, two, 2k, two, 2K's. 2K, yeah. Uh, no cars in hand. So that's an upside, right? That is the singular upside. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna draw into the big mom. But we have four cars left in hand. We have one card left in life. We stacked that though with the Hiori, so it's it's probably a good one. Yeah, it might be a little bit of recovery. It might be a trigger that responds to one of these attacks. Uh, could be a n number of things, but at least we have the choice. Yeah, if it's the zero cost event, we're in a good spot. But it's two hundred no. million volts, which uh, get rid it's of okay. two. Yeah, two cards without counter. But now we're swinging nine. And we're up to, to the gods. Uh, reject, which I guess we draw the card. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it's, it could be worse. <laughs> it, it could be. And it almost is. Yeah, 7k, yeah, 2k, 1k, and a big old 10 there, and it's just a 2k, just not able to get there, so. Yeah. Unfortunate for Yamato, just wasn't able to get that. Like, if, if the Onami with the double, double attack... Banish. Banish 2k and then also being able to put like two Dawn or a Mihawk. If that went through, I think you had a really good time to win the game, but Katakuri just solves mm -hmm. 2k's early he just, end. He saw everything on the right end of his deck. Yeah. You could have you could have saw literally everything else on the deck unless he like just built it that way. Yeah. Alright, we are here at table four. Uh unfortunately our our uh, Gecko Moria player has not shown up yet, so we gotta go somewhere. Uh, hopefully they do show up sooner or later. Look, oh, oh, oh wait, 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 he just showed up. You can have like a minute. Alright, actually, let's go to that game. Okay. Alright, 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 alright. Did we get the names right? Not at uh, all. No. Not at all. They're backwards. Oh, that's right. Because he's... Okay, his... Uh, it's Awakened TCG on the bottom. But, uh... His, his Discord is Wraith Talk. So, and Discord is alphabetical. So, it's, uh... Amazing. Yeah, it's great. It is great. Meaning, that's okay. Uh, instead of being at the top, he's almost always at the bottom. Because uh, W is at one side and A is on one side, the other side of the uh, the old alphabet. Interesting. There we go. Well, uh, if you guys don't know what a Nell does, 
Uh, I don't know really? where you've been, but uh, just a quick refresher, I suppose. Uh, he has four life, which is pretty unusual for a uh, monocolor leader, but he has this once per turn. Uh, whenever you go down to zero life, you can discard a card to heal one back, which is quite obnoxious in, uh, in yellow and really only gets more obnoxious with some of the new cards that we get here. So um, I think it's a... Uh, it's going to be interesting to see how it is. But uh, Chad says that Moria has a, a better than average matchup, and I would tend to agree just the fact that the deck is really good at establishing a lot of 4-drop 5Ks, and the way to beat it now is just to kind of have like a lot of medium-sized attacks. Which, uh, you know, deck Moria is pretty good at, right? So like turn what, or I guess the first time that they swing, they can definitely get something out. So uh, it's going to be pretty interesting. I think there's a lot of ways to get rid of stuff that Enel does play. You know, when they get to the Yamatos and Enels and the uh, uh, category, it might get a little harder. But, you know, I think for this early game, um, you know, there's going to be a lot of swings. And I think as soon as uh, Enel gets down to one, uh, the, real, the real battle begins. Well, uh, putting turn one just kind of shows that uh you know the, the the big bomb version of the deck isn't as popular in my my own opinion for it but it's uh you know it is a deck it's a viable the big mom package is pretty flexible uh so putting turn one is is established and turn two uh for two dawn for moria here we either get a hina or a great eruption looking like we're choosing the great eruption and uh we're gonna pass right back Not too bad. Uh, swinging 5k is pretty interesting. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, three on three on pudding. Yeah. Ended up taking it anyways. And then another five from the uh, Anel. Yep. Getting Rebecca already into the trash. Our brand new can get rid of that pudding pretty easily. Or even <clears throat> not even worry about it. We just swing and play something else to pop it. But nope. Go ahead and swing five. Not playing anything, this is interesting, but I guess we're going to use all of our non here for a four cost. Yep. Yeah, poor Selino. Yeah, uh, so far looking like he uh, is playing a mono black Sakazuki list so far. No no Thriller Bark cards have been seen. And uh, I mean, if we see Absalom in the next turn, being able to use that with Hina would be really nice. Uh, with a three for Hina and three from the leader. But I don't know, it looks like Gekko's not really seeing their pieces yet. They could just roulette. You know, you could, you could not, not the greatest, but you can roulette. Every time I say I could do that and try it, it's tragic. <laughs> well, we have a target already, so that's good. Yeah. Let's see. Well, they uh, they swung six with the the you know we blocked and countered out with the Borsalino and then played the Sanji to pass. Oh, there's the Hina. Oh, okay. Do we have the uh, the roulette? Guaranteed. We have the hog back. Okay, we're discarding the Hina. Uh, no, no roulette for us, unfortunately. And we can get the hog back, but we don't have any other thriller bar yeah. cards that we can add. So, a yeah, little rough. yeah, really forcing it here. It's unfortunate, but our, our field is not looking too bad, I guess. Just one less card in hand. Yeah, and one, one more on board, though. Yeah. Yes. I yes. guess two more on board. Mm, yes, two. Yes, yes. But uh, I, I think you're still fine. You have so many 5k swings. Uh, you could decide to attack with Borsalino if you wanted to. I don't think that'd be a bad idea, but we're going to pass right back and uh, 7 Dawn for Nell this turn. Which could mean a few things. Could be Big Mom, could be a Nell itself. We're at 3 life. Swing with a Sanji. I guess the uh, the idea of that's probably gonna Bait out the be block, gone. Which, uh, looks like it did. Yep. Really liking our cards, this gecko. We're probably taking this one. Yeah, because we only we only have like three or four cards in hand at this point.
I think you're fine to take it. I think I think they're probably afraid of seven drop and now coming down. So they either I guess, go this yeah. 5k and then don't really have a good way to get out of a seven or I mean this could be a all a ruse for a uh, Gadatsu, but it looks like it is just a seven drop. Yeah, that card is uh still very good. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, losing one card out of hand instead of two, I guess that's fine. Uh, I think we're swinging to face, if I think you guess. I mean, you could swing to Borsalino, but that's just one more card out of hand, I guess. Yeah, and there goes the Borso. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, one less thing to think about and worry about. This uh, brulee is probably not going to do too much for us. But we're not really caring about that. I guess we're just swinging first. Another swing? Are we at eight already? Yes, we are. <laughs> so Moria would be pretty good. Looks like we've been trying to bully down that Sanji, which we eventually did. And uh, yeah, there comes the, the old eight drop of Gecko Moria. There it is. Yeah, playing out the Borsalino. I think we have another, another target somewhere. Right? I thought we had another one cost, but I probably was thinking about the uh, Great Eruption. Yeah, I mean, if we had brand new, I'd consider playing it, but um, otherwise, the, the cards on my board are, I think, just good enough as is. Yeah. Interesting play you could do if, I, if you already got five. I'm sure you can play the Borsalino first, place the uh, brand new in trash, and then play it again, right? Yeah. Does that work? All right, well. All right, nine non. Three life. Play, could play another uh, now, I guess, but I don't know. I gotta start aggressing this life. Yeah, you, you kind of do. All right, uh, we're going seven into Hina. Yeah, we definitely would have liked to. I don't know. I probably would have liked to play uh, Yamato if I had it. Just to uh, to get the pressure, like the additional pop of a card, but I don't know. They're probably just saving it for next turn or something. If we have a big mom or another now, that probably would be good. Oh Which yeah, seven, seven drop yeah. big mom would be huge right now. Yeah, I think they'll definitely be a good equalizer. <clears throat> oh. Okay. Uh, oh. I think this is. Eight. I think this is. Just a 4k or 9k, yeah. Hmm. Just end up taking and then uh, another one. All right. <laughs> uh, I suppose. I, my guess is that they probably have a couple Yamatos in hand. Maybe that's just why. Just like, you know. I don't know. Brandu's gonna have some easy work getting rid of that one brulee. Uh, Kuzan for four. Pretty good card out, um, especially for these upcoming turns. But maybe one, one turn, uh, elite. This is not too bad. We're gonna swing this gecko into the Nell. And I guess we're trashing. Yep. Oh, the Shirohoshi, though. Shirohoshi would have been pretty nice. Yeah, whatever's in his hand that he couldn't play last last turn mm -hmm. definitely could uh, help him here. Yeah, and then just... Uh, man, when I have 9 Dawn, Kuzan into, into Sabu feels like such a good combo. Yeah, for sure. Can't really do anything about it. And you just have to stare at it until the following turn, basically. Yellow, yellow really does not have a way to interact with this, uh, and it just means that they have like a potential to remove your big body next turn too. Yeah. Mm. 
Yeah, uh, and Moria doesn't have Banish. Uh, Moria attacked into the Anel, and they saved it by using the Anel 7-drop effect. Correct. Yeah, it was 9-7. to seven. They probably didn't have the cards to do it, so they just uh, let it... Uh, let the... Uh, what am I saying? The permanent take effect. Yeah, but uh, we have the Kiko Nojo out now, which is, uh, again, what an obnoxious card to exist in this game. Yeah, we definitely talked about it earlier, and uh, it hasn't changed. You know, uh, the, the trigger is annoying, the, the effect is annoying, uh, everything's annoying, actually. So, it's a pretty good addition for yellow. All right, we're full, full ten done here. Um, you know, whatever cars that we were saving before that we use all that down for Boule. Hopefully, they're gonna come out this uh, this turn here. Yeah, because oh, oh, we are attacking. Maybe, maybe we have an eight drop Katakuri. Yeah, that's pretty likely here. We can get rid of the Kuzan, I guess. Uh, that's probably the best target. You could also get rid of the Gecko Moria. I mean, you could. I just think Kuzan's a little bit better. Because, like, they're really protecting... Or, not really protecting, but their hand is just not, probably not the fastest Gecko. And um, they probably want to protect that Kuzan. Because they're probably expecting, like, a Katakuri or Yamato or whatever. Oh, it's definitely going to cost eight. Uh, yeah, it is a Katakuri. And, oh, we're going to put a Brulee back into our own life. Um... I don't know if I totally agree with that, but I mean, it is it is something that they have to consider as Gecko. Yeah, it, it the only bad target is, is an L, right? <laughs> yeah, true. So, Actually. like, uh, unless unless there's something else in a yeah, it, it's just what, what you think you are needing defensive wise. And uh, being able to play Brulee again and have an extra life is uh, what they decided. I mean, in, in, I guess any other matchup, I would say it's probably fine. But like this specific one, I don't know. Um, looks like now it's going to go, finally. Definitely not using the trash effect. We're going to reduce the cost of, I'm guessing, the category. Yes. So Katakuri uh, should cost four right now. So if we have like a Suru in our trash, uh, we can get some removal with that. Let's see. Uh, oh, there must have been... Where was the additional removal? Oh, use Great Eruption? Okay. Yeah, Great Eruption. Okay. Great Eruption and Kuzan. Okay, yeah, I missed the Great Eruption. My apologies. I did mention it. You probably did. Give me out. Brand new comes out. Katakuri goes. And we move on with a whiff. Another, another brand new, I guess? Oh, okay. He tapped four, not, not two, I guess. So. <clears throat> another Borsalino, two Sa. Wait, one Sabo. And uh, two life. Becoming a little bit of a harder, harder situation for our nail player. Yeah, and we have uh, two life and one life, so Yamato doesn't hit anything on board, which is kind of rough. Uh, you really want to get rid of that Kuzan, because it, if it stays around, it just keeps getting more and more value. And I just don't think you have a removal. And I think you're right, maybe getting rid of the Kuzan instead of keeping the... Uh, the brulee into our life. I think it was probably just better for us. Yeah, that's fair. Especially like if we do have Yamato, putting more cards into their life just means our removal gets a little bit better. Uh, yeah, that too. Also, the just the Kuzan is just problematic, right? Like you, <laughs> you want that out as soon as possible. I don't want to deal with it. Oh, 
looks like they're paying five for, oh no. Interesting. Yeah, with one life, uh, we could like 200 million volts of Borsalino and then... What is in our hand for us to do this? Yeah, put confused. seven dawn on the Kiko Nojo, yeah. Well, one blocker, and we actually get out of it. Oh, <clears throat> probably, probably the right move, to be honest. Yeah, I I don't dislike it, especially because yeah, Sabo is really difficult for Yellow to to deal with. Uh, Reject does get rid of it, so that does help. But yeah, it's it's pretty nasty. And uh, yeah, another great eruption for one. We're gonna go seven. Use the effect of the leader, probably play an Absalom. Yeah, discard one. Yeah, play another Absalom, get rid of the blocker. And uh, this will be seven into lead. All right, discarding a mm -hmm. Thunderbolt and putting, a, putting it back to one. Right, playing the beige, uh, what, on the, the Kuzan, I guess? Uh, yeah. yeah. Something doesn't, I don't think it matters, yeah. What was in his hand? Cracker? What were the other two there? Uh, it was... I think that wasn't even gone. a Cracker. Yeah, it's gone now. It is gone. All right. So, uh, we are here at table one. We have Hal on Sakazuki versus Ernesto on the Gekko Moria. Uh, it's the, you know, the best deck from OPO5 versus one of, if not the best deck from OPO6. And uh, it's a pretty interesting matchup for, for these two. Yeah, you know, I think my gut usually leans to Sakazuki, right? Um, but I think it could... Get a little out of hand as uh, Gakamoria too, so yeah, I, don't know. Mm -hmm. I think Sakazuki is more consistent. It's uh, it's just strictly its leader ability is better, but uh, being able to play a card for one cheaper and, and having the flexibility of finding cards and playing cards from trash is nice. And and kind of like the biggest thing, we got five life to four. That that is pretty impactful at times. Yeah, <clears throat> I think uh, the extra card in. Technically, extra life or defense of life, life of defense. I don't know. Could make a difference, um, and especially when you are swinging five k, six k, whatever, constantly against a four cost leader or four life leader. Really, um, that might be a little bit of issue. But we do see this card that I was talking about before: the seven drop Borsalino. At least I can uh, help out with uh, getting rid of these eight cost uh, geckos. There's a lot of room for it. Yeah, it, yeah. You, as you said, yeah, they, you've got such a such a landscape of a, of a desk. <laughs> I, uh, it'd be a shame if you didn't use more of it. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm actually quite jealous about how much how much room's on that desk right now. Uh, that might not even be a desk. <laughs> it might be a, <laughs> maybe the floor or something. I don't know. But <laughs> yeah, that's uh much better. Um, did open the uh, one cost to look up for the navy, and now we're back in on turn and trying to decide what we want to do. Uh, only three dawn to play with. Uh, if you got nothing else, you may as well just swing eight. And that might be what we're doing. Okay, we're swinging five and five. 
which is almost as good, right? Yeah, yeah. It's it kind of either like warrants two cards out of hand, or uh, you know, you potentially like it's like a good middle of the road, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think uh, it also kind of speaks to like what kind of player you're going against. So if they take both, then uh, maybe they just don't care. <laughs> they just maybe maybe they just have a, a a different lease on life than you do. Yeah, I mean, if I swing big eight, I'm taking it. But with these double fives, uh, I feel like I have to get out of at least one of them, right? Yeah, yeah. So I guess it just depends. Like you take the one, you then you have another option to say, I don't know, I don't. I don't want the other card in my hand, so maybe that's what it is. Yeah, and but, Ernesto uh, uh, does have the brand new on board, so that is pretty helpful to uh, trade into the Tashigi, since Tashigi can still be boosted by Houndblaze, so that removal is still nice. And we're going to play the five, or the four cost Perona uh, off our leader effect, which means they're going to have to discard a card and then get out of a 7k attack. I, I, I dislike both of those things. Y yeah. Yeah, that's why it's pretty good. And also, why again? This is trade off for two Ks. Yeah, I think they, they discard. Uh, I think it's a Kuzog four drop. It's a little bit of a shiny card. There's a little bit of glare, but I think that's what they discarded. Mm. Yeah, I, I can't tell. <laughs> I'm trying to enhance, yeah, but I think that's a Kuzog. So discarding a Rebecca off of our leader effect. And uh, thinking what do we want to do with this five Don? Mm. Don't know. I guess one of it's a uh, swing six. Might play our Orn Borsalino or uh, perhaps a good old um, uh, Rebecca, but we pitched one, so less likely. Might be a Kuzan as well. Yeah, so we get out of it with Corona. And then uh, we yep. are playing a another copy of 4-drop Kuzan, and uh, we're going to pass it back. Yeah, probably one of the reasons why it's in the trash gonna help against uh, a lot of the a lot of the things that we want to do like hey get something out of zero or uh two or less and a helm blaze or maybe we can uh set up some plays with our own eight drop that type of thing but that's all right we're still pretty early to this game we're gonna tap three for hina which means uh this kuzan's probably not looking too hot yeah so we could, uh, if we have Absalom, we can get rid of it, uh, but we need to, we need to see it. That's true. Because, uh, the only card that we see in, only, like, I'd say a good card is, is the Perona. Uh, uh yeah. Discarding Great Eruption, and not, not quite good enough to find the Absalom, unfortunately. Uh, I feel like that happened to uh, Ternesto last match as well. Yeah, I think so. Uh, what were you trying to bake on the fact that we were, were going to mill one out? Is that what it was? Yeah, yeah. The mm. Absalom off the, the top. Yeah, I don't know about that, big dog. We would have been able to get the removal of the Kuzan. Still playing Hina is just a card on tempo, I think is fine. Yeah. But... <laughs> <Is> that... <laughs> Sorry, the way he's moving his deck. I, uh... <laughs> I feel like his right side is just like lava. It, it might be. Interesting. Okay. Uh, did we resolve the 7k attack? Or, oh, it's just a 6k. Yeah, we're fine. And then we attack with the Perona that we are allowed to attack with, and we're passing back. Um, okay. Well, two life. 
Uh, you're staring down three different 5k attackers. Four life on his end, two. We can probably remove um, a decent amount. It's not anything crazy. But if we really tried, we can definitely remove both of these uh, four and three costs with the right cards. Um, and then swing into this Perona. Do you have the Kuzan? Makes that uh, a little easier. And we are deciding on something. Gotcha. Okay. So leader effects. I'm not sure how many Dawn that we have. I think we got seven. That's seven. Pretty sure. Yeah, we're going to attack five. We're going to reduce the other Perona. We're going to take that one hit as well. Yep. Yeah, with four life, you want them to have to swing into you if they want any of your those effects. So, mm -hmm. uh, they're swinging to you. You go down to four, thinking about it. Ooh, great eruption! You know what? Make them discard a card. Sure. Not the most terrible thing to see. Probably because, um, you know, they are running pretty low on life. And maybe their thought process is that whatever you play, I don't really care about removing, so. It's also possible you just had an one in hand. Brand new says our hand isn't the greatest, but we do have some good targets. Except for brand new, I guess. Um, okay. <clears throat> Alright, just deciding what we put to the bottom with Luchi. So it's going to be a two cost brand new. Uh, a Hina, since I think we have another one in there. And then a Borsalino. Okay. <clears throat> Looking pretty good. Not the best, uh, but we did, like I said, have the cars to, to wipe out the things that uh, we didn't want to look at anymore, which is pretty much half their field. And uh, we are going to eight. Uh, eight? Yeah, we do so it's eight. So that means our eight cost is probably live. Or we just didn't draw it. That is also a thing. That that becomes easy, increasingly common, right? Uh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I just I just said that so the opposite can happen, you know. I see. I see. Uh, so we end up using Sindri to put more cars into our trash. Uh, I still don't think we've seen an Absalom. That's then, probably uh, why he's doing it. I've done that before too. Uh, make him discard. I think like our third card in the game. Double Perona. That's... Actually, I think it's our fourth card. Three Peronas and Great Eruption. I'm all about it. I'm all about it, to be honest. Alright. Uh, trying to decide what to do. Uh, we have some okay cards on board. Uh, Kuzan has some, you know, real potential to minus the, the Mori and get some removal, but we still have to kind of commit to that. Mm. It's probably in the name of the game, to be honest. Uh, you know, what do you actually want to commit to, or what do you want to, like, kind of uh, put out there? Uh, but I think uh, right now is uh, Sakazuki. Not too many choices. I think we have, what, four cards in hand? Those Protos are adding up type thing? Yeah, they, they are they are definitely adding up. Just think that they could have had seven cards in hand. Okay. All 
All right. Found Blaze on good old uh, Rob Lucci. Too bad we didn't really have any other reduction effects. Yeah. Not not being able to get rid of the Moria is, is pretty rough. I mean, there's still time. It's still Dawn being used. So, never know. We're just going to go for the cool eight, I guess. Or, uh, sorry, nine. Yeah, cool nine. Pretty much guarantees that, we, that we're taking it. Hand size not looking great. Mm, okay, now we're reducing about five. We're coming with three costs. Uh, what gets rid of a three cost? Or as a three cost? What cards? What card could be that be? I, I mean, there's usually nothing, two. Nothing really that's in, on my rate. I mean, what, Kobe? Uh, yeah, Kobe, you, just, you minus two, though. I mean, I guess you can... Great Eruption. Mm, Great Eruption Houndblaze again? Oh, we're just hobbling. Oh, no. Oh, what? Oh, I guess they have seven. Okay. okay. All right. You're at How nine, you dog. your favorite card in Sakazuki? Yeah, totally. How? <laughs> hey, that's a, that's a good tempo swing for sure. Yeah, it's I just that uh, I thought yeah. it had way less dawn as well. I th I thought so too. I th I guess I, we just counted it wrong. But this is why I'm like, <laughs> anytime that they stack their dawn, I uh, I don't don't. I get obscure. triggered. I get triggered. Just a cool five, maybe to the Kuzan. I doubt it's the brand new. I think he prioritized the Kuzan. Y yes, maybe not. Yeah, that Hound Blaze should be in trash, too, by the way. Not that it matters this turn, but you never know. Here's a six. All right, I didn't see the coups on, and it's gone. Here's Ice Age, and now we're playing our Gecko. What are we Ice Aging? I guess the Borso. Um, yep, Ice Age, yep. We're gonna Helmepo. And it's gone. And then we're returning for Rob Lucci. Cool. It's like Sakazuki Mira, but not. Uh, I mean, one of us have found Geckos. The other is... Uh, Didn't. St still trying their best, yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, he's really just not drawing that well. I'll, I'll put it. I'll, I'll say it. It's controversial, but I'll say it. <laughs> All right? How could you? I, I, I told you before the stream. Keep it. Uh, keep it. Keep it safe. Yeah, I know. Unfortunate. <clears throat> All right. Well. As our uh, Sakazuki player, we have a whole two cars in hand, ten Don to use, um, and our leader. <laughs> that's, that's pretty nice. <laughs> it's the, the weakest I've seen Sakazuki in a while, I think. That's pretty fair. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you got your brand new, though. <laughs> All right, that's cool. <laughs> I mean, anyone else? <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. Tapping seven or eight. Looks like eight for our own gecko. Hopefully, that'll do more than anything you could. I gotta say, yeah, <laughs> you just go for it. Uh, Rob Lucci's a uh, three cost. Uh, we do have the Perona still here. Nothing really says to get rid of anything. So, yeah, well, you got to play the. I mean, it doesn't matter, I guess. <clears throat> so yeah, the, the Suru, and then we do Rob Lucci to get rid of the Rob Lucci, and that's probably as much as we can go. Uh, two life still says uh, lethal. Only have one card in hand, so a seven K swing first. 9k swing after, then another 9k swing I think does it, right? 
Uh, or not even nine, probably ten or eleven. I think you have, you have the dawn for it. Yeah, well, we, I mean, we finally found our sockets or our gecko moria, but yeah, I think it's a little late. Yeah, it's a little bit late. Yeah, nine, and then you put everything on leader. Yep, unless you had a, something else, but nope, that is it. Yeah, All right. gecko moria takes it. Awaken TCG. All right, uh, we have for you guys table one. It is our finals, and uh, should be really, really interesting. Uh, hey, uh, you guys can uh, just go whenever you set up as well. You guys are good to go. Get the timer. Uh, I will get a timer. Get the timer. Get the timer. I don't think this will go to time, to be honest, but we will, <clears throat> we will do it regardless. Of course. You gotta make sure. Integrity. Yes. Or, or that, that is what my events stand for. I uh, hope so. <laughs> Always. Always. Uh, or, or if you're a South Park fan, integrity. <laughs> I am. Uh, I am unfortunately not. Or oh, fortunate. okay. I don't, I don't know what side. <laughs> which, which is I, better? I don't know where the fortune lives. Uh, gotcha. Well, if chat knows, chat knows. The best, the best chat in, in the world, if they know. Uh, <laughs> I think uh, I haven't played this matchup too often. Uh, well, I guess black and yellow is just kind of like the quintessential sometimes uh, for some of the later later table goodness. Yes. Uh, that really hasn't changed the last couple sets, but you know, Gekamori is definitely going to be one of the ones that you'll see in the top tables and the final tables, whatever you want to call it. And category is no different. No category is pretty interchangeable. It's just uh, we've been talking throughout the day that you know category has a lot more tools and uh, is still aggressive. There's nice, you know, nothing has really changed for it. And it looks like we're opening up a pudding and going first, which uh, I guess is not is very good. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't see who won the dice roll, but category is going first, which means Ernesto is going second. So I'm not sure who chose what. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna guess Ernesto won the dice roll, and, and he he thinks that you know going second is better. Which I, it's still good. Um, I just mm -hmm. I I don't know what is better personally yet. Uh me neither. You know, it's it's uh like I said, I think we'll probably find that out. Uh, maybe not like quintessential find out, but uh, we're seeing everything on curve. Uh, as as category, hey, got the pudding, got the paro, got the swing, got the pass, and. Probably gonna take this next one if we're going to seven into a five uh, K body. See, chat chat is saying that Jose won the dice roll, and uh, and chose to go first. So it's it's okay. looking like you know taking uh, away my opponent's best is you know better than uh, and, and keep, going you know second. what I mean. Like both of us being happy or both of us being a little upset uh, is what Mori is being a little bit more upset about missing their curve, right? Sure. I guess that's something. I mean, like, so far, pretty good. Um, look at the top three. That is not good to whiff, for sure. And we did get the uh, <laughs> our our four costs that we didn't really see uh, throughout this last like couple times that we we've, we've been watching uh, Ernesto. So at least we get to pop our Pero. Don't have to worry about that anymore, and also whiffed on it, so also a really good uh, result out of it. So 7k here to lead, and uh, get that to the bottom, probably beige. Yeah, our our the zero cost event, our uh, <laughs> the there's just so many good cards that you want to put at the bottom of your life now. Yeah, it's more of a meme of me saying it's beige. <laughs> <laughs> it's always beige. Stream Deck, I do not want to update. Stop. <laughs> oh, this is the perfect time. <laughs> yeah. We calculated it, and uh, this would be... We're asking test. again. Yeah. Yes. Taking that one. Going down to five. Uh, four for our category player. Maybe a Sanji or something. It's possible we have uh, another Paro, or I don't know. Very likely it's a, it's a four-cost Sanji.
I will say, like, uh, you know, although the the uh, the purpose, I would say, of taking away Great Eruption is probably yeah, there's Asanji, is probably uh, uh, to hurt Sakazuki. But do you think it's hurt? It hurts uh, Gekumori as well. Oh like, yeah, Ge more. Gekko, Gekko doesn't really have any in arc type ways to reduce cost outside of uh, Perona, which mm -hmm. uh, it you know it's situational at best, right? Because it it's a uh, your opponent can play around it, right? Or you just you don't you don't get it. So mm. um, and you also lose a two K. Yeah, you lose a two K, right? So all of it, nothing feels really great for cost reduction. So that's where like Suru has been really important. And uh, in Great Eruption, just all this like Navy package stuff. Mm hmm. Yeah, I can kind of see that. I mean, we also have access to Hina because yeah. we're probably still playing Rebecca at post ban, but um, yeah, I can I can see that for sure. You guys are playing pretty fast, which is nice. Only a few minutes in, we're already to the mid game. Um, Kuzan comes out, which is probably one of the better cards you want to see right now going into the next few turns. Is it round seven? This yeah, this is round seven. Yeah, this is finals. Yeah, last round. Uh, if you are in the tournament though, uh, there is still one more round for you guys. We just started this round a little bit early. Maybe we can put that to finals or something. <laughs> yeah. The title. <laughs> uh, finals are in the. It's in, it's in the yeah the stream title. No, I mean the overlay. Yeah. All right. Well, it's round seven, everyone. <laughs> 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 Eggman said it. This is six, I think. Oh no, this is seven. And playing as Sparrow. Whoa, that was crazy how he turned his uh Don. Did you see that? Yeah, just like the one the one point <laughs> contact. Just... Oh my god. Made me feel some type of way. <laughs> Calm down, Brian, it's just cards. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it needs more than that. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Oh man, off topic. Oh, One of the things that I that I really wanted to get was the Japanese uh, colored on, because they're like le less than like two hundred yen each, easy. And yeah, I didn't see any yeah, of them. They, I for they definitely made God. those a lot more accessible. In Japan. Yeah, dang it. I I really I really wish I did that. Eh, that sucks. Well, putting up. No surprise there. Uh, about five cards in hand. So we'll have to worry about these next two 5k attacks. Probably swing into our Sanji, reducing our Paro. No Helm Blaze in sight, so we're probably just going to get this uh, nice and... <gasps> nice and KO'd. Probably from our leader swing, or maybe... Something different? Oh my gosh, he's attacking his own life here. <laughs> Uh, deciding on a trigger. I think this is one of the lives that we didn't see with our category effect, so probably a bit of a surprise. Yeah, you should you should fix this life, right? <laughs> Maybe we're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. Just, we're deciding if we want a trigger or not. Uh, guess I have to go back to Japan. Yeah, Dan, sign me up. Upside down Pero is uh, just indicating that he got reduced by Kuzon. I guess so. Yeah, especially what it is. I Which doesn't so. matter. Doesn't matter. Okay, just uh, getting the brand new target. Great option, Suru, etc., etc. Suru is a little bit more important, even though we could have played that with another Gecko. I think Great option is nicer to to kind of have in our in our tool set. But uh, hey, I mean, if we're being a little aggressive this turn, makes sense. And 
I guess we're starting out with the big bomb. Seven drop. Yeah, uh, trashing is definitely the way. You don't want to give him a lot in the life. Yeah, we saw that. We saw that earlier, too. It's, you need to... This is important. It's important to uh, make sure they don't get that extra life. Yep. I think if you have a 2k to give up, which you did get the Suru. Since so you chose that over the Greater Rush, you may as well go ahead and uh, put it to get used. Go ahead and block and then give him a 2k. Because this next swing is only 6. So again, it's going to be a 2k or something else. There you go. Here's a block. Oh, don't even care about it. Okay. <clears throat> Here's a 6. Here's the 2k. I'm going to pass. Only about four cars in hand, probably a brick and brick and maybe some two Ks. Coming up to about five cars in hand for Gecko. Pretty, pretty decent field and two cars or two cars. Yeah, two cars in life. So like, it's not impossible just to start swinging, gauge where our opponent is and, uh, you know, just play another A drop. Why not? <laughs> we have a Borso. We have two Borsos in, in drop, so, or in trash, as to say. They reduce our big mom. I like how you put it on the cost. <laughs> yeah, so it's costing. Uh, well, it's four less, so it should cost three. I don't know. For that, that I might put like a three. In put put a three. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely put a three. Uh, still four cards in hand. Not a whole ton. Let's swing at the Paro probably. I mean, you could swing life. You could just like, yeah, you could just commit to the life here. Uh, looking for some triggers. We all, well, we don't, maybe not all know, but kind of Corey player does, definitely knows what our last life is. Yeah, we yeah we put that there pretty early <laughs> to this game. Yeah, it looked like a Sanji. It looked like a Sanji, but I could be wrong. And, uh, Ooh, wow. uh, yeah, that That's is it. it. That is it. Wow. Uh, big right. old brand new swing, and Ernesto is our champion for our uh, our first OPO6 event. Nice. Damn it.